I'm exhausted. Will you be okay, Elliot? How much longer? We've been walking forever. Night, Elliot. If your horse were to collapse, you would have to walk great distances. Yes, but, but that's different. Don't be so hard on him, Melville. But, a knife can't, but if a knight can't walk... There's no sense in arguing. We have come a long way. Let's stop here. For once, I agree. Who'd have thought ducks talk so much in their sleep? Can't you sleep? Oh, me? I'll get to sleep soon. Melville, uh, Melville, the tireless walker, fell asleep first. That oh, boy. Even knights get tired. I guess we do. Alanis, why do you want to find the ship so much? Huh? I could be wrong, but you seem more anxious than Melville to find it. Oh, well, maybe I do. There is a reason. What's the reason? Pretty soon, I will have to say goodbye. I have to leave Vene de Zaxe. My father is a trade merchant, so I've never had a chance to settle down and make friends. My father planned to leave after half a year. That's soon. Meanwhile, I've made friends with Melville and Elliot. I look outside and see groups of children playing. I've never been able to do that. Till now. That's why. Oh, I see. Lulu, wake up. Surrounded by iron heads. Uh, tell them to come back later. Come on, even the Zexans are awake. I know, Mama. I know Zexan Ironhead kids. Mama. <laughs> no, no. Go kids. I assume this is the right way. And we can probably drop down from those. What's this? Hey, get back to work, lazy bunch of little jerks. Treasure left about can incite the boss. Beat the day and night. 
Yes, we do. We understand. Even your rhymes built of sand. I repeat the orders too much. Not. Drives us mad. We pray you stop. Here we are. Treasure seekers. Craving profits make us weaker. While we're hungry for some grub. Massage. Now that we love. Who are these people? These people are what you'd call an unfortunate impediment to our quick return. Uh, uh, Melville, home now, please. Calm down, Elliot. Will the St. Lowen Knights run away from a few lousy bandits? Right, right. They can't run now. Hmm. Look, they're going inside. Let's follow them. What about it, Hugo? Should we should we three go in too? It's better we go in too. Besides, can't say no. They made me a duke. Worried about the court marshalling? <laughs> Fine, we'll all go in. But if it gets any more dangerous, we must retreat right away. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duck. God, do we have to go down the circle? Ah, huh. that's right. Halt! Shall not pass, or we will kick your. They were gonna say ass. Too terrible. And lots of levels. Oh my, I don't believe what just happened. <laughs> Me too. How are the bandits, Sergeant? The ropes are secured. They'll be unconscious for some time. Now, let's get in there. There's a ship somewhere waiting to be found, right? Right. Yeah, there has to be. Melville's father isn't a liar. And I'm going to help prove that. Me too. St. Lowe and Knights, together. He took that big hit. My god, controls are terrible. Oh, and a save point. Look, light from outside. I can hear water. You mean we found the ship? Oh, welcome. We're locked out. That man from the Zexan city. 
Kuame. Bad, bad children. I told you not to go to the mountains. But why are you here? Do you really want to know? Shall I tell you? Well, now. I know why. You're the liar. You lied about Melville's father when you called him a liar. Oh, <laughs> that's right. But why? The reason is most simple. I did not want anyone to learn of this place. This place where I store my riches. Your riches? Yes, mine. All mine. Sometimes I sell a few of my valuables at my store or at the market. Then, when the buyer leaves Vene de Zexe, my bandits strike and return the bounty to me here. It is the perfect scheme. We know what each victim will be carrying because they bought it from me. You vicious thief! And so you've kept this place a secret? Naturally. This place is just far enough from Vene de Zexe and the Knight's Fort. I've never worried about anyone else finding it. That is, until Melville's father spoke up about his discovery. Monster! That evil plan, you! And I was just thinking of moving when you started to give me trouble. Hey, it's about time you lazy bandits got here. Oi! They're strange ones. You'll pay for what you've done. Think you can win in the fox's den? Prepare for the punishment as men. Why do they rhyme? Or try to at least. Show no mercy. Of course, he'll go attack anyways. Just in case we got another turn, another battle after this one. Good levels, though. Oh, ouch! Even lion lions are known to flee. If dangerous reward comes uneasily. Remember that before you challenge Korean father Korean fighters. Or a veteran duck fighter. Oi. Lousy bandits. At least I have some very valuable hostages over here. Uh uh, Melville? I can defend us. I'll make him pay. 
You can do it, Melville. Captain of the St. Loa Knights and Swordsman of Rage. Prepare to meet your maker, old man. Old man? We'll see if the boy's blade is as sharp as your tongue. Nightchild, let the match begin. This is a duel? Or an actual battle? It's a duel, okay. I suppose I'll finish this in no time at all. Let's start with this. You can give me those looks all you want, but it will not, but it will not change the outcome. That's not good. <laughs> it appears I've beaten the knight. How shall I finish this? Hey, pig face. Huh? Huh? Oi. Money blind fool. <laughs> he got what when did what how every knight knows how to work a lever <laughs> shall you be punished as a man or a child help save me hey stop thief Lulu, let's see the Melville first Melville, Melville, can you speak? I can speak. I hear church bells in my head, but I think I'll be okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I lost. I thought I could protect you, but you all protected me. What are you saying, Melville? You did protect us, and me. She's right, Melville. You're a hero. You even made me feel less scared. This is a victory for the three of us. St. Loa Knights. Victory. Yeah. Now Swordsman of Rage and Knight Captain Melville. Let's go find that ship. What a beautiful view. M Melville, look, look. There's your ship. I can hardly believe it. Melville, it's true. Just like your father said. Yeah, just like he said. We'll walk proudly into Vene del Zexe and tell everyone about this ship. Yeah, the worst part was doubting my own father. I was starting to think there was no ship. I knew he was telling the truth. I knew it. But it started to sound... Well, not so true. What a relief. Hey, you know he wouldn't do that. He's your father. True, true. And a great treasure hunter, too. I guess. Next time, don't guess. It's <laughs> 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 a nice little side little thing we did. We should get back, get you three back. Your families must be worried. Probably. At first they'll be too angry to listen to your story. <laughs> wow, 
finest words from such a young one. Let's be off. Back in the town. We'll walk you home. But first, let's say our goodbyes here. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Hugo, Lulu, and you too, Mr. Duck. Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbyes, again. Well, I hope you get back to Grassland safely. Alanis, when do you leave here? Huh? You have to leave because of your father, right? You knew? Well, we found out. We didn't. Why didn't you tell us? I'm so sorry. It was too sad for me to think about. How could you be sad, brave silver maiden Alanis? Melville. Don't worry, Alanis. The St. Loa Knights are immortal. Wherever each of us goes, the strength of the others go too. Friends forever. Right? Melville. Thanks. That's how I see it, too. St. Loa Knights. Swordsman of Wind, Elliot. St. Loa Knights, Captain and Swordsman of Rage, Melville. Right. St. Loa Knights, Subcaptain and Silver Maiden, Alanis. Together we are... St. Loa Knights. Saint, the Three Knights of Zexa. Thanks, Melville. Thanks, Elliot. We'll be best friends. Always. Forever. But someday you'll come back, right? When you do, I'll be eating beans much faster. I'll look forward to it. Now, I'm so happy. I didn't think I'd ever have friends as good as you. I'll never be lonely again. Hmm. Convincing their parents that we are not kidnappers was harder than the adventure itself. Yeah, but it turned out fine in the end. Those three sure are close friends. I'm glad we're like that, too. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay. Try staying at the inn again. Please come again. Let's see if there's anything else new. Otherwise, I think we have. To... Oh, yep, here we go. I guess we shouldn't complain. The food could could be a lot worse, but a lot better too. More scrumptious curry and spices. I suppose the best we can do now is head back to the council building. No, no, be brave, even though I know you miss your mother. Who asked you? Don't get feisty, young man. I hope I needn't worry about Fubar's behavior like I do yours.
I can't believe how big this place is. I wonder how many counts it holds. You think this is big? The lizard clan has... The, li the lizard clan cave is a large enough to hold ten of these. Been informed that you are indeed expected here. It's about time. They await you within. You may enter. Oh, great. Now we get to wait inside instead. Big deal. I tried to warn you. Officials do a lot of things to make themselves seem more important. Quite annoying. So sorry to have kept you waiting. I represent the Zexan Council. I'll be responsible for delivering your message. Representative. Yes, a representative. I am the son of the Kuraya clan chief. I must deliver an official message to the Zexan council. No one else. Perhaps it is difficult for you to appreciate the time constraints on the council. We deal with many people from outside our vast realm. We have little patience for that which disrupts normalcy. How dare you show such disrespect? It was Grassland's protection that allowed Zexan to peddle its goods as far away as Jalston. Need I remind you that we shared our profits with Grassland? Perhaps you desired more. Impudence. Now then, if you will please give me the message. Come by order of the clan chief. You see, the clan chief didn't send me all the way here for such treatment. I must deliver this directly to the council. Unfortunately, as I've tried to explain, the council's too busy now. It's the best I can do. But, I beg your pardon, but I can't waste any more time. Such serious matters should be left to someone other than a child. I happen to be a Korean fighter. Fighter or not, I'm Zexan. Person's age determines what he's called. And here, you're a child. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> if only Jimbo were here to see these iron heads. We did our best delivering the message. It's important to explain what happened to Lucia. I'm ready to go back now. Agreed. I've seen enough sex and rudeness to last me forever. Hmm. 
Alright, well, I guess we uh, head on back. The best we can do now is return to the inn. Get ready to head back to Grassland. Never mind. Apparently we have to go to the inn. 